If software is eating the world, as Mark Andreessen has said, then how will we, the wetware, you know, the, the things that are wet, blood meaning, and everything else, still control it? How will we go forward into an internet that eats our lives, like software? And how would this sort of hyper-dependency, right? how would that be, would that be a reasonable price? Would you like to be hyper-dependent because it's convenient and awesome? Well, many people would argue, who gives a damn, right? It works, it's great, it's free. How can it be any better? And then this future is grace. God says we are going to be literally what we create. That is referred to sometimes as playing God. I don't know if you believe in God. I, I could care less, really, but it's an interesting angle. You are, we create a kind of a digital feudalism. We can be created, we can be made, we can be unmade. Clearly, this is hell then, right? Hell and heaven. Depending how you look at it, it's hell then. It's a very interesting theme that has emerged on the internet because now the key question online is no longer going to be about how we can do something or if. Because when you look around technology, the, the question, the answer is always going to be, yes, we can do this. We can go into your bloodstream. We can fix the weather. We can solve climate change. Yes, the answer is yes, sooner or later. Now the new question is going to be, why? We have to ask the question why, and who, and how, and when. And this is an ethical question. 